Okay, here's just a quick little overview of my meteorite collection. Um, Northwest Africa and classified chondrite, 330.6 grams. It's a Lebrand find with field number 99751, which means it was found in the year 1999 and it's the 751, 751st stone, a number that they found that year in 1999. Uh, it's been cut open and polished and as you can see, you can see the little chondrules and the little flakes uh, of iron in it. I'll also show what um, my metal detector does when I uh, look at these, uh, scan over them so you can kind of see the reaction of each um, and, and see for yourself. Uh, but um, here's uh, another one here, Northwest Africa. 131 grams. It hasn't been cut open, but it uh, also has the you know rusty patina from being in the desert, not so much water. But then we got some uh, Sakota Lynn meteorites here from uh, Russia that fell in uh, 1947. Uh, I've got a 34 grammer oriented one here that looks kind of shield oriented. You can see it's got some little droplet impacts from you know, one that was melting and impacting in front of it, and you can see it. It's got rollover lips from when it was entering the Earth's atmosphere. It uh, orients itself in flight, so that's why it's got this shield kind of shaped look, like a horse head kind of, or a snake or something. But it, uh, it's uh, pure iron. And uh, it's, like I say, it's kind of heavy. It's 34.2 grams. It's a highly oriented kind of shield. And then we've got another elongated individual here that uh, kind of is oriented in shape where you can see the, the very front there is where the wind was blowing and it was kind of creeping forward at the edges, trying to get around the wind, kind of forming like a wing shape because it rolls over this edge right here. It's got a rollover edge right here. And you can see some pretty nice little, you know, little imprints from the wind blasting it. It was all melted. It kind of deforms it and makes it all mess up. But that's 28.2 grams. Uh, that's another Sakota Lynn. I've got another Sakota Lynn here. That's a 17 grammer. It's a uh, an orient individual with flow lines you can kind of see the the flow of the wind as this thing was flying you know mock whatever and it was melting away and looks like it impacted something smacked it there and had some wind disturbance of something that you know has just probably got ripped off there was you know real blast of wind over here pieces hitting it and wind disturbing it over here but um you can kind of see where it ripped off right there at the last kind of piece that I ripped off. It's not melted. It's not, you can kind of tell it was part of a bigger body with these big uh, imprints in it from the wind. But uh, you can tell which way it kind of oriented itself after it kind of pulled off the side. It, so uh, here's a uh, Odessa. Uh, it's a historic captain, I think, Dredger or Dredger find. It's a 1948s from his personal collection that Jeff Notkin picked up. Um, you can kind of see it's a, it's, it's heavy. It's a 135 grams. So it, uh, you can see it's got the kind of thumbprints in an area too, in some spots, a few of them, but, uh, And in the show, they also, if you ordered some of these meteorites, I ordered some of these because I wanted to be able to scan them with my metal detector to see, you know, how they pop up. You know, something with iron kind of mixed in, a stony kind of iron um, meteorite. You know, you can tell which way this was even laying on the, on the desert floor because it's still got the polish, you know, from the melting on the outside. So this was sitting 
up like this and the sand was beating over it and skinning off the the melt from the, the crust of the when it was coming in when it kind of kind of oriented itself probably something like that a little bit but they're they're pretty neat you can find these out when you're metal detecting they fall all over the planet so i tell people when you're out detecting learn to look for what meteorites are because you never know what you're going to find out there and meteorites can be kind of deep since they're pretty irony this one like i was getting ready to finish uh, is something they send you if you order some meteorites they send it to you it was one of the ones they found on the show um a nevada dry lake bed on october 28 2009 it was while they were filming the show meteorite men it's on uh YouTube, you can look it up. But they were just finding them all over the place. And this is one of the pieces that they found out in the desert that probably they said had been out there like 100,000 years. You can even see that it was sitting in the soil like that. You can still see the soil stain from the actual, where it was sitting in the ground, how it was sitting on the, on the sandy soil out there in the desert. But it was sitting you know, waiting there looks kind of like a horse head, kind of. I don't know why I keep getting these ones that shape like animal heads or something, or I don't know. But um, <clears throat> yeah, these uh, these have metal in them and stick to magnets, rare earth magnets. Um, so it's good to look for them. Here's some meteorite samples that I found out metal detecting. Um, let's see if I can get the close up of it. You can see it's an iron meteorite and, uh, you can see the stones kind of in it too. Here's one that I kind of filed into. So some of those iron junk pieces that you think are just iron junk are actually sometimes meteorites. So don't discount everything you find as iron. So take a, a magnet with you when you're out metal detecting for coins and stuff like that too. So when you find these iron targets, you'll be able to just put your tool down. You know, when you, you know there's a metal target in there. Take a tool with you that's got a magnet on it so that way when you scan in the hole and you get down in there the magnet just goes click and just pulls this thing right out of the dirt whatever clump of dirt it's on it just snatches it right up and then you you find it but um you can see this one too is a kind of stony irony crystally when you look up it with it with a loop with a jeweler's loop you can see the uh, stone, but this one kind of fractured off and then as it came in, it was melting. And you can see that it flipped over as it was melting coming in and it bent, but it was just cooling itself just enough. You can see the direction of the melt that it was going for it bent itself so it's kind of probably fractured the rock fractured itself over this thing was like a bullet coming down and as it melted it kind of bent itself over and this part of it didn't even melt and then it just cooled and flickered down like a in the field i found all of these in the same area while hunting a field so Once you start to look at what you look for in these kind of meteorites, these irony meteorites, you know, that you find like in Texas and stuff like that. And then when you get a look up on them with a loop close, you'll begin to look at the difference between what it looks like for just a regular piece of iron. And then you'll notice the difference between what is a, a part of a meteorite for when they or melting that looks like that one had a piece of when it was melted a piece just slammed into it and just poof, buried a big chunk into it so 
looks like this piece was hit by another piece and as it was melting and was coming in. <clears throat> but you can find uh, very expensive rocks out there per gram while hunting, you know, anyway. And I try to tell people that are, you know, love to go out and, you know, do relic hunting and stuff like that. And I try to tell them, I say, guys, you're passing over 10, 20, 30, thousand dollar rocks sometimes you just don't know what you what you gotta keep your eye out for so just keep your eye out you'll begin to learn what they look like get you a few samples so that so you can scan with your um you can scan with your machine to start to to see what they uh you know what they'll come up as is when you're scanning your you know your your stuff you'll know what they came out of so like i said these are out of ohio these ones i found here in ohio and this is an iron one from texas so you can see there you start to notice the pattern of when it's a regular chunk of iron or so you just gotta just pay attention to what you're picking up sometimes because you never know what you're gonna get sometimes. All right, happy hunting out there. I'll see if I can make a video before I upload this of uh, what uh, my metal detector, my Fisher F75 Special Edition does when I scan these meteorites.